Hi, welcome again, my friends. It's been a long time. I'm not uploading new videos because uh, I'm busy for my own project and learning. So I'm sorry about that. But in this video, we are going to learn how to submit a JSP form using Sharpblade. It's very simple and it's very easy. Okay, let's uh, dive into the code. But before starting this video, if you are new on my channel, please do subscribe and turn on notification to get notification once I upload next videos. And if you didn't uh, check our JSP and Sublet uh, tutorial videos, please go back to our playlist and check those out first. Okay, let's uh, go back to my NetBeans ID and uh, this is our old project. Let me ex expand it. And here is our index.html. I'm going to delete it. And we have one sublet that test sublet. I'm going to delete it also. So simply deleted. Okay, now it's a now a now it's a clean project. We don't have anything here. So at first I'm going to create a new JSP JSP file. Name it index.jsp. and finish it and here i am going to design a form using bootstrap okay let me populate the form and come back to you okay friends here i populate a simple form so we are getting an error here type typing error bad attribute name so actually we didn't provide any attribute name okay uh, it's uh, fine now it's a simple form. Let me run this project. Okay, you can see here is a simple form and I try to uh, combine everything about forms. Here is a text field. Here is a email field. Here is password field. So if you type anything, it will be hidden. And uh, here is a radio type, radio button. You can select on. And here is a date type and here is drop down so i i mixed uh, everything in this uh, form that uh, understanding the method methodology how to grab all kinds of data okay uh, that's our basic form uh, you can do by yourself or i will give you the source code in the description below you can check this out there in my blog and here i'm going to create a sublet so actually I'm going to I'm going to create directly sublet so you can use uh, okay, submit form or register form you can say register sublet just click on next and add information to deployment descriptor and click on finish okay let me say create a sublet for us so here I'm deleting all unnecessary codes yeah, we don't need to get method we only need post method okay we only need to post method i'm deleting all unnecessary codes so this is a simple post method so i'm taking a writer and starting with the try class block and then we try to response dot get writer and here we need an exception handler so why try cache actually it helps us to handle exception so if there is any exception we can check it out in our console that's why uh, this method so basically this is the registration sublet and i'm going back to my form and here you can see that our form has no action okay. So uh, let me give it to an action first. So action is our registration sublet, register sublet. And here we define our method is post. Okay. So in this form, I didn't add the file or image. And in next video or other videos, I will show you how to handle file using sublet. 
or you can uh, go back to my playlist jspn you can check uh, how to yes you can check this file download and uh, uh, file upload videos you can check that playlist there we have two videos there okay so we can uh, uh, get our action and method so we, when we um, click on submit so it will send all form data to our register submit okay let's uh, check it out and click on submit so you can see that it sent us to a register sublet now our main work is to get the form data in this sublet so for that we will use request dot get parameter and here is the name where we can get this name parameter name so let's go back to a form and give a name to our every input field so here you can see this is our input field for uh, name user input name so let's uh, give it a name name equal so let's give it name so using this name field we can grab this input field in our sublet okay let's uh, let me do this for all field Okay, all, all right, friends. Uh, I already um, checked uh, everything here. Sorry. So I already give the name property all of our input field. So in a radio button, you can check this out that we give a name input field gender. Okay, and here. And one more thing, we have to add a value here. So what kinds of value we are getting from this uh, selection option? So it's a student. Okay, here I already set some value for our option method, select option method. So basically, when we will select a student, what kinds of value we are going to store in our database? So the value is when we will select a student, we are going to store a student. When I select a teacher, we are going to uh, store teacher. So that's the basic form population. And now let's uh, go back to our sublet. So here we are going to name and we are going to store it in a variable so it's a string type variable string when we are getting information from form so all information come as a string format so that's why it's a string format so if you want to convert it to any other type just like integer type net type so you can do that so let me check it out that we are getting that uh, value or not out of print length length even okay let's uh, go back to our browser and uh, refresh it uh, and put a name here and submit so you can see that we get a name here almamon so let me grab all input field using in this way okay uh, i already uh, grab all kinds of data using that uh, request dot get parameter name email password gender dob and profession and i am going to simply print out those data in our uh, html body okay now go back to our browser and refresh it just uh, input your name input your uh, email input your password gender mail and uh, date of birth anything select as a student and uh, I for it to forget that I didn't check it here. So you can see that Alma Moon email password. Uh, this is get option one date of birth and student. So um, go back to our form and here is a value female male and 
one more thing is that we did on the check this check form so check go back to parameter so let's, uh, let's check it a boolean string type and uh, so go back to this form and type name check to can put a check plus uh, check uh, now go back to our browser pre populate this form submit your information again gender mail and check any kinds of birth student and check out check me out and submit so you can check that alma moon and uh, mail and student and check this it's on so in this way we can uh, handle our uh, form data using sublet and in next video we will learn how we can set this data into a csp file and uh, dispatch that csp file in our sublet so just uh, tune on my channel and do subscribe and turn on notification to don't miss next update and see you in next video bye bye